Here we have new route, new track that we found. We've never driven through here. So now we arrived at the dilapidated bridge. That means we're staying here overnight. Locals say a lot of cars close through. We don't need no accidents here. Dennis, what on earth have you done? Incredible sound, oh my god. I am frozen to the bone. Dennis is pushing forward, leaving a blood red trail behind him. That's what happens when people don't do what they're told. And now emergency towing. Dennis Igorich, where'd your feet go? Hello, friends. It is minus 5 Fahrenheit, and it is snowing. All the jeepers are staying home. But us, we went for a ride, and not in a warm car. We're pulling out Willis. We're going to pull chains over its wheels, only the rear wheels. There are problems with chains for the front wheels. We shall open up the potential of our Willis. I hope you'll enjoy that. Denis Egerich is with us. He bought himself authentic leather boots. Where did you get them? Swap meet? Or is it your army issue? That's left from my grandfather. So here's our starting point. It looks like an abandoned chapel or something. That's a JK. 35 wheels, studded tires, deflated to 0.5, locking differentials, Neva Bronto. It's got the winch, locking differentials, 30 wheels, JK, with 37 wheels, Yokohama tires. I think those are all tennis's wheels. We're only pulling tires over the rear wheels. Something is wrong with the tires for the front wheels. We have deflated his tires as well a little bit. I think it's gonna be the last ride. And it is stock version. We are ready to get it lifted. That is a JK with 37 wheels, also Yokohama tires, locking differentials, a winch, Chevrolet Neva, 30 wheels winter tires, locking differentials but no winch. Here's a Grand Cherokee, 5.2 liter. Dennis is in there. Don't you get used to comfortable life? Go back to your jalopy. I thought you wanted to drive the Willis. No, my job is videotaping. But you got warm boots and everything. It is hard to push the pedal in those boots. Go on, get out, show us your boots. I feel great here. Cherokee is still a Jeep. Go back to your car already. I have warmed up the seat for you. That's all right, you can go. Don't fret. We are finally heading out. Dennis, bring your jalopy over here. That's right, there's a lot of snow today. Jeep Willis, 1945. It has UAS engine. Go for it. Put the hammer down. Let's go. Wait, wait. Wait, you're good. That's right, downhill it goes pretty well. What we got here is a brand new route, brand new track. We have never traversed that before. You're good, you're good, you're good. Neva has conquered the downhill here, so you could do it too. Go on, it's not traversing the flats. Keep pushing, Denis Igorovich. Your comrades have faith in you. Should have pulled the chains over the front ones, huh? All right, you're straight. Excellent job. What's up? Oh, good. Well, he need to straighten his car, because if you attack it at an angle, other than 90 degrees, you may very well roll over. And we do not need no accidents. Chevrolet Neva will say, at today's ride this car has the lowest off-road potential, but the driver is very experienced. That was good. Well... Go on, go on. Be brave, you're good. Those chains are useful. Well, right. We have arrived at the dilapidated bridge. It is in ruins, for real. Oh, my God. What's up? 
Did you fall through? I guess we can't go across here. So, the decision is not to drive over the bridge. It is dangerous. And locals warn us that a lot of cars have crashed through. We're gonna have a little detour. They say the Ford crossing is not too deep. All right, Dennis, you go first. Oh, wow. We need to pull you back. Anton, are you going to break through? Apparently it's deeper than it seemed. And Anton was walking on the ice and not on the riverbed. Dennis, what have you done? You should have pulled chains over the front. You'd get through. Wow, that is power, oh my god. I should remind you it's about four degrees Fahrenheit. Awesome job, Dennis. <laughs> It is difficult to stand here. I'm falling over. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, Dennis. Oh, you're awesome, man. A plus. Did you remember to plug the filter? Just don't push it too much. Now Chevrolet Neva is going down. Let's take a look. Neva's headlamps dove underwater. You need to winch him out. Use a winch. It's okay. They're winching him out. What's up? The cord snapped. No, the cord's all right. Cord's all right. Cord is snapped. It's all right. Vasily, bring your JK over to anchor Neva down. All right. He wants to give it another go. Righty dokey, whatever you say. It'll be take two, right? Okay then. There is something down there. Could be a log or like a cement bar. He's looking good, right? Those who survive the bridge shall continue the ride. You got water in your headlights. I think we should get JK. He'll be quicker about it. Because that Neva can't fish turning around. No, but for real. Willis went through. Now that the frost is here. And we're using the Ford Crossing. Great fun. Turn the steering wheel to the left. Turn it to the left. The wheel is pressing against something. Keep turning it to the left. The wheel is pressing against something. Turn the steering wheel to the left. We'll hook it up to the orange one. That is here, the display of Neva driver's enthusiasm. And now hammer down. You need momentum to get out. Pedal to the metal. You got some water on the belt, no biggie. What, does it miss fire or what? And Dennis got up somewhere to the right. I don't wanna. Why? I have spirit of sportsmanship. That's right, you don't look for an easy pass like the samurai. The next car to attack the obstacle is Neva Bronto. Locking differentials, a winch, winter tires. Yuri, are you sure that you want to go across the bridge? Maybe you'll choose a track a little bit to the right where Chevy was going through? That's right, don't use the bridge at all. Because it is safer to get stuck crossing a ford than to crush through a rickety bridge.
I'm telling you, it is better to get stuck and crossing the ford than fall over the bridge. Go, go, go. Let it go. Keep going. Left a little bit. That's it. Your front wheel is on the riverbed. You can go. Steer left, left, left. Get back! You crashed all the ice. Stop. He laid out a new track for you. Oh, oh what a sound. Awesome. That is the proof of the fact. That is not a Rubicon, so you know. That what happens when you don't do what been told. He was told, go to the right. And Uau's episode like that in TikTok got 50,000 hits when he was told not to do that and he still went there. So now the time for emergency towing. No, keep your steering wheel straight. Don't dig yourself down. Maxim, never floor it with your wheels turned. All right, your front wheels are touching the riverbed, so now a little bit to the left. Keep going to the left. Go, go, go. Good boy, keep going. Maxim, did you deflate your tires at all? Did you deflate your tires? Yeah. All right, back up and go forward. But do not rev it when your wheels turned. Excellent. Front wheels hit the riverbed. Now turn left. Dennis, if it wasn't for you running around, the poor carpenter blames his tools. Excellent. Dennis is pushing forward, leaving a blood-red trail behind him. You should film what has happened to fan blades. What, did they break? Worse than that. They have damaged the radiator as well. Everything has leaked out. So one puddle and two bumps, right? What a disaster. The fan is destroyed, and in the process, radiators damaged. Here is the story of a fan clutch. When it hits the water, that's what happens. Electric fan is better. Turn it off before going through a Ford. So what should we do? Well, as usual, let's get the towing cable. Every time it's the same with you. Where's the competition in that? What, did I go into the Ford for no reason? So, basically, we push Dennis's Willis aside. We shall tow it later. In the meantime, we'll go forward. There's gonna be a mighty ravine, which would be awesome for off-roading. And we're gonna pay respect to World War II mass grave. For now, we're dealing with another nasty ravine, and Grand Cherokee cannot get out of it. You can hear him revving up. We went up the incline. Thank God Grand Cherokee is up here. Dennis, where is your car? I saw some bums have irrigated it and now using it to collect empty bottles for future recycling and making some money. Look out of that terrain. Did you see it? Can we go through? Yeah, I think we can. So everything is not lost, right? There's your Instagram moment. So we have decided to go for a little shortcut. And this is what happened. We wanted just a little shortcut. So listen, over here it's just too deep. Look, the snow is knee deep. So, how did you like that shortcut, ah, huh, Anton? I don't like it, we didn't go through. That's right, we didn't make it. But that's all right, we're gonna go for it again. I was inside there and it felt like hitting a brick wall. Reversing. Your backside is not showing any traction. And not too much traction on the front end either. Stop, stop. Stop. 
we have arrived at our ford we've been here many times it is very beautiful beautiful wintertime forest we've seen some people on snowmobiles it will be cooler to go the other way with some steep inclines go forward be brave i'm in four low i am touching nothing your low gear range works well there Our friends we have stopped for lunch and our friends are coming over to meet us and they got stuck in their chimney so our gang is going toward them to help them out we're near ford it is not too frozen we can see the river flowing through to the left here we're gonna test that ford chevrolet neva is going first it does not have a winch and the plan is, if something happens we go and pull on it from behind the ice is crackling Oops, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Its wheels is all the way down. Anton, get out. That is horrible. Great. Let's try. Let me jump out into the water. Are you crazy? Don't do that. No way. Don't do it. Don't think about it. If God forbid the whole car goes down. Dennis Igorich, where are your feet? You look like a funny dwarf. Pasha told me, like, there's one time a defender went under ice. Then the tow truck got over and the tow truck got stuck. So another tow truck came to pull them all out. Now I understand why they say don't go riding with Neva drivers. They're all crazy. So now the rescue is on the way. They got cord extension. Technically, it's more of a strap than cord extension, but it's all right. And the hooks are weird. Listen, Ilya, there is an upside. No more water in the headlights. But now there's water and rear differential and in his taillights we're getting unique content hey go and pull neva out by hands these people can do nothing without me and they call themselves off-road riders Ilya, didn't you know these people don't know how to use the blocks how did we break a neva that tree is gonna go down you hooked it up too high don't do it its front end's gonna go down we're gonna tear off his rear end look how we're pulling him so you got any ideas yeah i think we should look for detour get a chainsaw go on the other side and start sawing the ice i am not part of this all together i was just walking around taking pictures of some birds and look at all these horrors look at these jeeps you know how to use the chainsaw right i don't want to get in there it is wet and cold and dangerous see i got a red nose now just like an alcoholic but i am not an alcoholic i am just drinking to get myself warm by the way it is four degrees fahrenheit right now it is snowing and very cold but i am inside the neva it's nice and warm and guys are out there helping if you you're outside, the hands and fingers freeze so quickly. Hey! Please forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Look at that vulture. I'm just a journal filming a documentary. My goodness, what's going on? Yeah, why does it take such a long time? Why is it so long? Citizens, those who went underwater, or those drowning. We are not drowning. We just got stuck and tore off the bumper. Ooh, wow. That is very interesting. So how are you with that bumper? Did your car weight go down? Are you coming over? No, we can't be there. We can't even cross the river because the Niva is stuck and we can't get out. All right, I understand then. We can only count on ourselves. Yeah, I can see you're doing well, better than us. You're good, you're good. No detours. What do you mean? You said Neva go first, you broke it, and now you decide about the detour. What do you mean we broke it? It's just your bumper. You'll zip tie it back up. I know everything in your car is on the zip ties. Oh, poor bumper. Just take a look at that. It's better not to see. Stay in the car. It's a horror story back here. The task now is to open the tailgate. 
Here. It's so good. And water didn't get through. Listen, I'm gonna yell out and let's see if you can hear us or not. Tell them that we are by the Ford, under transmission lines, near electric pylons. Pasha, it is your track, your route, you know it. All right, you can yell. Maybe he should honk. I can hear you, but it's coming from the phone. I see, all right, we can hear you as well. Where's the stag? What an idiot. Okay, I see. So, did you get out or not? Well, we have pulled the Neva out, and that's it. All right, we shall wait for you then. So, my friends, we have decided not to cross that ford there. We took a detour to that other ford. We'll try to test it right now. And then we'll pick Ilya on Chevy Neva on the other side. So here's our first car. And you were fretting it. Awesome photos. Let us see that it is not a Photoshop. How did Denis Igorevich fell through the ice? Jump on it, it's rather thin. Listen, your Niva is pushing through rather well on the snow. Pushing through with no fear. You got 31 wheels? 29s. 29s, come on, really? We're gonna have to go up the hill now. No biggie. You think? Almost. Excellent. By the way, he's going through the puddle. Should he fall through the ice, he's gonna get upset. Anton, do you read me? We got through, got out of the forest. Looks like a gas pipe. Should we go to the left or should we head straight? Over. I am 10-8, so stay there and wait for me. Over. I need your 20. Is there electric power pylons or just power lines? We went the wrong way though, so we have to turn around. JK with 37 wheels crawls out successfully. The one on 35s is stuck already. It looks like we're high up in Colorado, or somewhere in Canada. Look at that, there's Cherokee and Neva in the back going back and forth. Look, 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 look! What a nightmare! What is that? What is that method of driving? It's like he carries a snowbank on his bumper like it's a tray. And he got 29 wheels, and he's pushing through. And Cherokee with 33s gets stuck. Hey, what's up? Hello, sir. Oh, whoa, damn, I'll be damned, hello. Looks like we know each other. Wait, hey, I don't like the sound from my engine. What happened? Let's let Yaroslav to go first. Let him set the track. Oh, I see. Dude, did you see the shape of my car? The snow collects all over the hood, up and down. I may continue on point, but why? If we have a car with a lot more power. We agree, but perhaps we thought you wanted to become a legend. Well, I may. Yours would be the coolest car. We allowed Yaroslav with JK on 37 wheels, Chevrolet Neva behind him, and we are in Neva Bronto. Everybody else left somewhere behind. Break a break, I need assistance. I can't get back on track. It is so awesome here. No video can do it justice. Just take my word for it, it is awesome here. So we're helping everybody with the ice, right? Oh, here's Dennis, and I was wondering where is he, why is he so quiet? Be damned. Fudge me sideways. Yaroslav, there's ice under your wheels. Right. And the Neva can get all the way up. They have winter tires. I'm thinking of buying Neva, Dennis. And I will hang out with cool people. 
he can't, can't get through, through it all. I got out to bring the weight down. Of course, but it doesn't help. Of course it won't help. You have summer tires, and going down is all crazy. And tires are not deflated enough. They're deflated all right. You think so? It's your wheels, isn't it? What's the pressure there, 0.4? Break a breaker, I'm stuck on track. Can't get out. Over. Dennis, do you know what it means? We're stuck here overnight. Are you reading me? We got another Jeep that's stuck. Over. We're gonna have a fun night. A total nightmare. Everybody gets stuck. The convoy is separated. The most powerful car is stuck. I remember once we left out here at 4 a.m. You remember that? Not at 4 a.m. What time was it then? Yeah, when Uaz was here. When you beat him, right? It was awesome, right? Didn't it? And well, we'll see how this one ends. It's all fun for now. It is cool. I got a lot of flashcards. Enough for three days. I got batteries and flashcards. Our cars are not with us here. So we're having fun. We have half a bottle of moonshine with us. Neva is trying to go all the way up that steep hill. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Listen, if it gets all the way up, Dennis, you have to buy yourself a Neva. For reals, come on, Dennis. What a disaster. That are all your Jeep cars. And this is domestic Neva. It weighs very little and has winter tires. That's domestic Neva. That's domestic Neva. Oh, keep repeating that. He's not even revving it up. Do you see that? Why aren't you revving it up? Two of my cylinders are misfiring. What do you mean two of your cylinders? Your engine sounds fine. Stop bullshitting us. Maybe you did not switch to four low. All right, we'll pass on buying Neva yet. Here we go. Damn it, he went off the track, right? Yaroslav, maybe we should buy Niva instead of a Jeep. They say it pushes through. Over. Well, go ahead and buy one. And we shall all see how well you're doing. Over. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Over. Well, today they showed us how well they're doing. Over. Microbe came over here again. You should be ashamed of yourself. Bringing a stock car to a souped-up car event. There is no way you can turn here. Let the record show. Jeeps are a burden on a winter ride. That's right, Weiser. Nevis and Micra pushing through. Jeeps get stuck. What should we do? We have no idea. He can't get up. No lock on rear differential. No, this one still crawls. Do you think I can get through here? I have no idea. There's a ravine there. He's gonna go down and turn around there. The Jeep went down and got stuck. Now we're trying to winch it out. He doesn't have a locking rear differential. To make a long story short, we stuck in one place over an hour. More than two and a half hours. You see, more than two and a half hours. I even fell asleep drying my feet. This GQ Jeep, the three-door one, the yellow one, it was doing really bad. By the time we got him out, it took a long time. Grand Cherokee couldn't get up. JK, I'm 37. Climb successfully. There's Ilya with Niva. He has winter tires just pushing through. Listen, we would be better off using that other hill. This track is not as good. Too many turns. Waza, how did you manage to climb up? Well, I was cursing a lot. Did you get up yourself? Almost all the way up. Awesome. Not enough clearance, you see. My car is too low. Still awesome. I guess it's time to buy a Neva. Well, Cherokee almost got up on its own. Only in the end we'll witch him up a little bit, but that's it. All right, look at that Jeep. He went around to go first. Damn it. Why didn't you use dynamic towing? Take it slow. Take it slow. That's it. Stop. Almost broke Microp and a half. Dude, you lost your way. You were going to a mall. At least you don't have Oaz people. Or no one will be able to go through. Yaroslav, everything okay? We're unhooking Jimny and Jeep can go forward. Over. Not a single Oaz today. That's right. Well, how can this tiny little Japanese car keep pushing forward? How's it possible? To the left. We need to go to the right. We're not going to use our own tracks. We're going to use different tracks towards Yakov, towards Dmitrov's Highway. That's it. Go back to the car. Everything's unhooked. That's the reason why I moved forward. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Get back a little more. No way. 
He is even veering off the track. Can you imagine it? No, don't roll it back yet. Should I go back? He's gonna get through now. That's our mic crowd pushing through. No locking differentials, nothing. Right, Nevis carry a lot of snow, all the way up to the hood. My friends, we're done with the ride today. Video cannot do it justice. A lot was not filmed. We took a long time staying one spot. Good luck, everybody. Dennis, I haven't seen you from the early morning. Were you with us at all? You were asleep all the time. And we spent two hours looking for you. And what did you do? What do you mean? I have helped everybody. Huh? Did anybody see this man today? 